Today is the final day of the Covered Bridge Festival. Dozens of vendors say this year is a year to remember. News 10's Blake Dollier introduces us to a local vendor who says he's overjoyed with the success he's had. As the Covered Bridge Festival wraps up, many businesses and vendors are saying this year was a record year. This is a chicken. Tony Spaulding has carved things out of wood and painted for years. He spent many of those years showing his work and selling it at the Covered Bridge Festival. The best art you make is crazy art. Spaulding says things don't get much better than they were this year. Best year I've ever had. Uh, and man, the people are so nice. For every person that passes through. What's up, my man? And every stroke of his paintbrush, his main goal isn't making money. It's making friends and helping those in need. It's got a lot of love in it. If a person comes through that has my problems, I try to talk to them. I'd, I'd say, don't worry. His kindness and quick wit haven't gone unnoticed. That's a joke. Mansfield Village Bar and Grill owner Luke Moody has let Spalding work by his restaurant for the last few years. He says Spalding's impact here is indescribable. Just a happy bear. He's been a staple here at the festival for a couple decades. Uh, he's a Vietnam veteran. He's an American hero. Uh, he's a great guy for us to have around. We love Tony. Spalding says once the festival wraps up, he'll be counting his blessings and getting ready for next year. First of all, I want to thank God. I'm ready to go home, but I'm kind of sad I'm leaving my friends, you know. Spalding hopes to continue making creations like these here in Park County for years to come. Reporting in Mansfield, Blake Dollier, News 10.